All right, so in this problem, I have eight to the power of x is equal to 16. So I wanna find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to start by rewriting my equation here. So my equation is eight to the power of x is equal to 16. Now, before we start doing anything, let's just inspect this problem real quick. So if I plug in x equals one into this equation, I get eight to the power of one is equal to 16, which eight to the power of one is the same thing as eight, so I get eight equals 16, which is false, right? Now if I plug in x equals two, I get eight to the power of two is equal to 16, and eight to the power of two is 64. So I get 64 equals 16. And notice how there's a big gap between eight and 64. So we know that the value of x is not gonna be a whole number but a decimal, and it's gonna be somewhere in between one and two. So x is greater than one, but less than two. We know this. Now, how are we gonna actually solve this problem and find the exact value of x? Well, what I can do is rewrite 16 as eight times two. Now what I'm gonna do is divide both sides by eight. So then these two cancel out and I get eight to the power of x over eight is equal to two. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So a to the power of x over a to the power of one is equal to a to the power of x minus one, which is equal to two. Now, a is the same thing as two to the power of three, so I get two to the power of three to the power of x minus one is equal to two. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So two to the power of three to the power of x minus one is the same thing as two to the power of three times x minus one. And three times x minus one, I can distribute three, so I get two to the power of three x minus three is equal to two. And two is the same thing as two to the power of one. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So this means that 3x minus 3 is equal to 1. And now if I add 3 on both sides, I get 3x is equal to 4, and x is equal to 4 over 3. Now, there actually is another way to solve this problem. What I can also do is, at the start, rewrite both of these in bases of 2. So 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3, so I get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x, and 16 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 4. Now this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3x is equal to 2 to the power of 4, meaning that 3x is equal to 4, and x is equal to 4, to 4 over 3. So this is a much simpler method of solving this problem. All right. So in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation three to the power of x plus three to the power of x is equal to 12. So my only variable in this equation is x, so that's what I'm gonna be solving for. And now for my solution. So let me first rewrite my equation down here so I have a little more solving space. So my equation is three to the power of x plus three to the power of x is equal to 12. And the first thing I'm gonna do from here is factor out three to the power of x from my left-hand side. So I get three to the power of x times, well, three to the power of x divided by three to the power of x is one. So one plus one is equal to 12. And one plus one is two. So I get three to the power of x times two is equal to 12. 
And now I can divide both sides by two. So then these two cancel out. And I get three to the power of x is equal to six. Now from here, what I'm gonna do is take the log on both sides. So I get log three to the power of x is equal to log six. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this turns into b times log a. In this case, I have log three to the power of x, so I can move x to the front. So this turns into x times log three is equal to log six. Now from here, I can divide both sides by log three. So then these two cancel out and I get x is equal to log six over log three. Now log six is the same thing as log of three times two. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log three times two turns into log three plus log two, and I have this over log three. So now this turns into log three over log three plus log two over log three. So then these two cancel out and I get one plus log two over log three. So this is my answer.